Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode of The Gentleman's Club. I'm your host, Mark Antimate, and in today's episode, I'm going to be telling the story of Kango. Now, actually, I'm going to be telling my own specific story of Kango, but based on the video title, I don't want to have brought you here under false pretenses and not tell you about it, so I'll speak about the company real quick. It's a company from England that was founded in 1938 and obviously they make these flat caps and they're famous for the flat caps. Uh, but the name itself, Kangol, many people might have a misconception that the company might be Australian or that this product is made in Australia. There is no correlation whatsoever. Uh, the name Kangol is kind of like an acronym, whereas uh, the K stands for, uh, what is it? stands for knitting and uh, the A-N-G stands for Angora as in uh, Angora hair that comes from the Angora rabbit uh, from his from his fur coat and the O-L at the tail end of the name uh, Kangol stands for wool so you have that acronym but uh, many Americans kept coming over and they were asking yo where can we get that that kangaroo hat at and so the company in 1983 had adopted the kangaroo logo now it's time to tell my specific story about kangol so anyways this happened in january 2019 uh my father's a new yorker by the way no i messed that up this is uh 2018 february 2018 so my father, he's originally a New Yorker, but you know, like all New Yorkers, uh, once you get some money, you end up uh, moving out of New York. And now my father is a resident of Virginia because that's what people with money do. They leave the state or they leave the city rather is what I meant to say. And anyways, we go back every now and then to visit family and relatives and things like that. So, you know, we had did the drive from Virginia up to New York and then... You know, once everything was done and we partied with family and all that stuff and saw my dying grandmother, you know, we went back down to Virginia. And as we were driving, it's an eight hour drive, by the way, you know, we're about uh, maybe three hours away from home at this point in time. And, uh, you know, we just we stopped to decide. We decided we wanted to get some lunch and we stopped at some off the road place uh like zaxby's or something like that it wasn't zaxby's it was some chicken fast food place i had on my kango flat cap which was like a uh the uh style was called the tropic 507 cap by the way and uh i had this cap on all day i love that cap to death and you know i sat down inside of the restaurant you know i'm eating my food i was like you know we're taking a break let me take this thing off my head give my scalp some time to breathe and, you know, I laid it on the chair next to me, finished my food. Father finished his food. You know, we sat there for a quick minute. We got up, got inside the, uh, the truck, and we left and continued on on our way back to Virginia. So my father's driving. I'm sitting inside the passenger seat, and I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. <laughs> I forgot to get my hat off the, uh, off the chair of this, of this fast food joint. And, uh, you know, we had already been driving at 10 minutes on the road. And uh, when that thing came to mind and I said to myself, there's <laughs> there's no way in hell he's getting ready to turn around and drive backwards for 10 minutes just to go uh, pick up a $40 cap that I that my dumb ass left on the chair. So I didn't even say anything to my father. I didn't even announce that, hey, I had forgot this cap. He does, he's not privy to the story whatsoever at all. So <laughs> I left that cap there. That cap will never be seen again. Uh, probably the staff has it now and they're probably wearing it around town. Bless them. So anyways, that was two years ago, man. I really love my Kango flat caps. And I was like, man, I need a replacement. There's a Kango uh, flat cap store here in Tokyo, Japan, in uh, Shibuya. And I go there and I'm looking for the exact same cap that I had, the Tropic 507 cap. 
And unfortunately, they didn't have it there. But they had what I have inside of this bag. You know, they, they had many good alternatives. So I was like, let me get something else. Uh, there was a British guy inside the store as well. He had his flat cap for X amount of years. It could have been 10 or something. And his hat was just absolutely faded. He had like a red flat cap. And his thing was just absolutely faded. And uh, he couldn't wash it or anything like that. Because I don't think you're supposed to wash it. And uh, he just needed a new one. So he was in there for that. It was nice, you know, breaking bread with my UK peers and things of that nature. So we talked for a little bit. I tried on two different uh, 506, what is this, 504 caps. And I said to him, I said, hey, bruv, what you think about these hats right here, man? And he gave me his opinion on them. And he told me which one I should get. And uh, I think he made the right choice for me because it was too difficult for me to decide. So anyways, this cap right here, this one is called the 504 flat cap. But this one is a very special one because this one is a limited to Japan only flat cap. And um, let me tell you the materials of this one. The materials of this one is, uh, I can't even pronounce this, motacrylic, acrylic, wool, and nylon. So this is like a blend of like four different materials, whereas uh, the standard 504 cap that you can buy anywhere inside the world in England, just any country, that one is going to be 100% wool. But this one is a little bit, you know, the wool one is going to be very hot for the summertime and I guess even for uh, spring. This one is a little bit more well-rounded in the sense that I can wear this all year round. So that's the reason I got this. I got my tag still inside of there, as you can see. Look, the original price on this one in Japanese yen is uh, 7,300 yen, which is about 70 bucks. So this one is actually uh, quite expensive. And I got it in black because, you know, black goes with everything. And it says uh, Kango, British born. Get that up. Let me move that up to the camera for you guys. Yeah, get a look at that. Get a look at some of these tags here. I think I'm blocking that. I think I'm blocking that completely with my hands. Yeah, okay. So there you have it. One more tag. Let's see. Let you guys see that. All right. Inside of the cap. There you have it. Very nice cap, nice material. Got my nice Japanese souvenir receipt right here, as you guys could see. And luckily, I was able to get this hat on a discount. So I'm very happy for that. Anyways, let me go ahead and cut these things off, put this thing on my head. Not only does it look good on my head, but I just like to wear caps in general now because, you know, getting older, I'm losing my hair, man. Man, what you guys think about that, man? That is so fresh. That is dope right there. Getting ready to wear this out to work today. Take a look at that. This is the way I usually like to wear it. Uh, the standard flat cap style way. Sometimes I like to switch it up and have it on backwards like that. That looks, you know what I'm saying? That looks pretty smooth as well. But. Or sometimes I guess you can even do one of them one of them halfway numbers like that. Kind of have it looking like a beret just a little bit. This is my usual thing right here. You guys probably see me in some early videos wearing my flat cap, but I'm lucky to have it again because I'll be wearing it some more in future videos. But anyways, that was my story about Kango and uh losing my cap and finally rebuying a new one. And I'm thinking I might even go back to the store and get some more. But again, this one, this is called the uh, the, Jap the Japanese Limited Wool 504. And uh, again, about those materials, because I didn't say the percentage. 
So this is 44% mode acrylic, 21% acrylic, 21% wool, and 14% nylon, whereas the standard one is 100% wool. Anyways, gentlemen, I think I talked your heads off long enough. Salute to you wherever you may be out in the world. And as always, gentlemen, you know what to do. Keep it classy.